In this video, I'm going to give you five reasons why this paint sprayer is the best option for almost every homeowner. Alright, first of all, I want to welcome you all to the channel. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. If you're a subscriber and you've seen my videos before, welcome back for another video. Alright, first of all, let me start off by saying this isn't a brand new machine. This isn't an unboxing. This isn't a review um, of something that I've never used before. It's not a sales pitch. I'm not being paid by Graco or anything like that. There's no sponsorship. I'm making this video because I've owned this sprayer for four plus years. And I'm making this video because I believe in the quality of the product. And I'm not guessing on that. So I've been painting professionally since 2003. And this is the paint sprayer that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so the quality of this machine is quite good. Um, they're rated for 125 gallons a year, but I get way more out of it than that. So this is more of a DIY project type machine. It's not commercial. If you are a pro and you're looking for a, a commercial sprayer, that's great, but that's not what this video is about. This is about the homeowner. So reason number one is its capability. Um, is this thing's, despite its size, it does big jobs quite well. Um, I'm going to show you some pictures of a, of a barn here and a few big projects that we did with this thing this year. Um, so it's capable of doing all those big jobs. It's also capable of doing interior jobs, entire interiors, or just a room. Um, it's, it's, it's just the right size for all that stuff. So when you're doing those big projects, you can, you can draw from a five-gallon bucket. It'll suck paint out of a five-gallon bucket. It's going to be good on those projects like for furniture or cabinets and stuff like that. You can change out tips, get a finer finish. It's good for that stuff. It's capable of doing that. It's, uh, it's also good for staining and finishing. And again, it's all about the tip that would you, you would use for that. Uh, the gun that comes with it is an SG-2. Uh, if you were to buy that gun just outright, it would be around 100 bucks. But that comes with it. It comes with a 515 tip. The tips are, you know, 30 bucks a piece usually, uh, depending on where you buy them. You can find them online for a lot cheaper than that. But um, the tips are important. Change them out for different, uh, different finishes and different uh, spray amounts or spray volumes. And that led us right into reason number two, that you can, you can spray pretty much anything with this thing. It's, uh, I use it a lot with latex. It's good for acrylic. Yeah, you can spray oil with it. You can spray stains, finish, all that, all that stuff. Uh, you can you can use this for pretty much any product you want to spray. Spraying with any airless sprayer, uh, if you've never done it, it does take a little practice. It's not that tough to do. Um, just uh, just experiment a little bit on something that uh, you're not going to notice, or maybe a piece of cardboard or something like that, just to get your technique down. There's uh, there's some videos about that out there. And if you need instructions, there's a video up here. Um, that explains the whole procedure of setting up your paint sprayer. Check that out if you need that information. Alright, reason number three is uh, that it's easy to use. It's lightweight, it's easy to move around. Reason number four would be that uh, this thing is really quite affordable. It's uh, 300 bucks basically and you'll have it for a lifetime if you take care of it uh, properly, clean it out, uh, make sure you don't run anything through it that uh, would, would damage the pump. Uh, that type of stuff, it'll last uh, 300 bucks, and you won't have to buy another one. And that brings us to number five, that this is very durable. Um, I've had this thing for about four years. I put uh, probably close to a thousand gallons through it. It's only rated for 125 gallons a year, but I'm guaranteeing you, you're going to make it a lot farther than that if you take care of it. Now there's a bit of a catch to that. I've, this machine has had a, probably close to a thousand gallons through it. The pump has not. And that's the only drawback to this machine is that you cannot replace just the seals on the piston. Uh, you have to replace the entire pump because the seals are inside the cylinder. There's no way to do it. But luckily for you guys, I have a, a video up here in this card about replacing the pump because I've had to do it a couple times. They cost around, uh, what, 120 bucks, something like that. It's not a horrible job to do, but 
if you use it as much as I, I do, and I use this that, way uh, more than these the pumps will go through it. about 400 um, gallons. So if you if you plan on uh, putting more than 400 gallons through this machine, which is a lot, um, then you may want to plan on on replacing the pump. But you know it's really not that big a deal. So in the end, the 300 bucks that you're going to spend on this thing is well worth it. Uh, and if you need information or you have questions, I have an entire playlist on this machine. Uh, check back with the channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We'll catch you in the next one.